Hey guys, I'm Ovivo Jr. and I welcome you to round 2 of the 2017 Grotty F1 World Championship. This is round 2, Mirror's Edge, and we had to do a number of 31 laps, which equals a race distance of 161.5 kilometers. The lap record until this moment was 1 minute 56.5, but we'll definitely see some quicker lap times, and the track length, uh, one of the longest tracks this season, 5.2 kilometers. The qualifying in P1 we have driver Jenks number 3 for Junk Energy. So Junk Energy seems to have a very quick qualifying car with the second pole this season. P2 goes to Michiski, very well done for Bravado Racing and P3 goes to Benefactor driver Fab Iceman. Alright here we are, everybody's gridded up for the first race at Mirror's Edge in the X80s. Myself in 18th, Fab Iceman in 3rd. Lights off and away we go. Top corner, Fab Iceman just passed Michiski right from the start, so great start by him. Myself in the bottom. Oh, huge crash here at the first chicane. And we already have our first safety car for this race, which is the first safety car this season. Because we had more than 4 cars involved, so it will be interesting how the restart worked. Here we are with the restart just shortly before we are allowed to race again. Benimi in the top corner in ninth position behind Neutron and myself behind YOLO for overflood racing. Benimi looks like he has the run on Neutron but then the Bravado engine just slightly lacks the power to get the pass done. Myself catching up to YOLO you see I have uh, less aerodynamical downforce so I'm quick on the straights because I have no spoiler. Uh, YOLO is driving with the spoiler here, but I can't quite make the pass, so I'm still in 14th position. But maybe I can uh, get a run on this straight here, which is quite nice for overtaking. Trying to go for the inside. Sorry. Oh, a little touch there on the rear of YOLO. Luckily, he didn't spun out. Just a little um, bump. So, still in 14th position. But here we see on Benini's screen, who stocking had a little crash for uh, Thorm Racing. She's still standing there. Uh, unfortunate for her, losing quite a lot of positions. Now we are with Grim Reaper, who is following the Deboshi car here into the first turn, who is very tricky um, at the run gas station, very high speed turn, bumpy inside, you definitely want to have the line, because this long straight is following up on it, and if you get a good run, you can get your pass done. Now following YOLO and Esperante, going to the inside, Driving over the sidewalk there, that was really close, but I managed to get those two positions and now I'm into 11th. So I already made up 7th positions for my starting position, which is very good. Um, in the qualifying I made a mistake in the last corner, which cost me a top 3 qualifying. So that was very unfortunate, but at least I had the pace to pass the cars. Um, in the top corner we have Fab Iceman chasing Jenks, and we are now in lap 2 still. So that's a close battle between those two guys and Fab Iceman is followed by his teammate Super Stepper who was also very very quick on this track. So they will both definitely be catched by Super Stepper if they start fighting because that will cost a lot of time on this track. Here we are on the back straight again and now I'm passing Countage in his Deboshi car. Uh, that was a easy pass, hit the short shifts and flew into 10th position and now I am behind Grim Reaper for Ocelot Racing very nice livery green and white I really like it and I'm trying to pressure him you see he's already taking the oh, racing sorry, line to defend himself and wait. here I'm trying to get a good run but then he makes a slight mistake and I'm going into 9th position in lap 2 Here we are in lap 4, I um, made up a few more positions and I'm now right behind Benimi but also being pressured by Arkenlol who we saw having a crash at the start finish um, in the first lap so he made up his way from the back into 8th position and is now right behind me so he tried to make a little overtake on me there but I defended it and now I have to get past Benimi to create some space between myself and Arkenlol because I know uh, I don't want to fight him for 60 minutes. That's very 
a very tough call and I get a very good run out of the f uh, last turn here over the start finish straight going into lap 5 and get the pass done on Benimi. So that was very very relieving for myself getting this pass done. Now I knew I had Arkin behind Benimi and I could maybe create a little gap if he needs more time to overtake Benimi. So let's take a look at Benimi's view in the top corner. He's now following me into this difficult section and all of a sudden Arkanal appears on his rear. Benimi has quite a lot of respect there. Um, it's also caught on surprise and Arkanal is past him. So now we have a new situation for me. I am behind Medeiros which is Arkanal's teammate and Arkanal behind me in 7th position. I now have to pass his teammate which is a, a tough call because I know he won't let get uh, me past easily. He wants his own teammate to get up to the front and also he doesn't want to lose his position. So I have to play it smart and try to get a good overtake on Medeiros here. We also have in the top corner Fab Eisman and Jenks battling it out for first. Um, they are really close together um, in lap 6 so they have been fighting for the first 5 laps. Uh, the difference hasn't been more than 2 seconds I think and now Eisman seems to have a good run on Jenks here going into this long sweeping 180 degree left hander and also myself following Medeiros and here I get a good run on Medeiros I'm thinking maybe I can go for the inside I tried to break late go for the inside oh a little touch there on the inside wall a uh, bit clumsy move from myself lost the position to Arkenlol and now we have a new situation with Arkenlol being behind Medeiros and Medeiros might even let him go on the next trade, which would be a smart move for him. Because I think Arkenwald was a bit faster on this track than Medeiros. And we also have Jenks and Iceman side by side into the run gas station turn. Ooh, little contact there. Fab Iceman touching the outside wall, almost losing a position to Super Stepper. So the first three are now very close together. And here we see. Medeiros and Arkenlol switch positions, so Arkenlol is now in front of Medeiros and I have to make an effort to get past Medeiros. Here we are, lap 8. Uh, positions haven't changed yet. I'm still behind uh, Medeiros, Arkenlol in front of us. And I'm thinking, I don't want to lose any positions battling. So I decide to take an early pit stop here in lap 8. Driving into the pits, taking my first long pit stop. So I'm taking option 1 for our pit strategies. Two long pit stops instead of two short and one long. And by lap 8, I saw this. Fab Iceman crashing into the last barrier there, which loses him quite a lot of time. He's going into fifth position, actually behind Arkenlol. And we knew which position I had when I was behind uh, Medeiros and Arkenlol. I was just slow, uh, slightly behind these two guys. And now uh, Fab Iceman will decide to go into the pits and at that moment, I knew I might actually I have a chance to catch him um, if his pit stop takes long enough. So we'll see how that turns out. Myself going into the second turn here, run gas station, trying to take it smooth and then get a fast exit. Fab Iceman just at the last slowdown here. And myself just passing the pit exits here. I can see Fab Iceman right in front of me. That's gonna be a really close battle. Going into this mirror's edge section. Oh, he loses the rear slightly. Allows me to go onto his inside. Oh, and there's the pass. Myself, pass Fab Iceman into 10th position. But it's not over yet. He's still right behind me. Myself being pressured. Losing a bit of concentration. Missing my breaking point. Fab Iceman puts his car onto the inside. And he's almost pass again. But now I have the inside. And then safety car. Safety car gets called out. So Fab Iceman and myself have to side. Who won the battle and Iceman was just a slight bit ahead of me. So now Fab Iceman in 10th position and 11th myself. Here we are after the restart lap 11. Safety car is in again. I'm following Fab Iceman. And in the top corner we have Grim Reaper for Ocelot Racing in 13th position. A very interesting situation because the top cars have not pitted yet. Uh, only Fab Iceman and myself are one of the few cars that have actually taken a pit stop. So effectively, we are now battling for the lead. So myself in ninth, Fab Iceman in eighth, and Grim Reaper battling with my teammate Obihunch in there. We're going into Mirror's Edge section. Um, I had a lot of um, brake issues here, and then you see slight issue here and lose the car over the curb. 
So losing a lot of positions and also quite a bit of concentration following uh, Odorn now here. And then hitting the palm tree, still confused by my crash, uh, getting caught by Benimi's car. And I'm now into 19th position. So very, very frustrating for myself going from 9th to 19th. Here we are in lap 12 now, following a few cars. Uh, Neutron is going for a pit stop and myself, I'm behind Countage. In front of Countage is YOLO. And uh, you saw there was another car taking a pit stop. I think that was actually Jenks. It looked like a junk energy car. Or maybe it was Odorn. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I'm following Countage here into this uh, LTD gas station turn. Ganyalo's turn. We all know what happened here when he flew into the C. But then pass Countage into 14th position. So that worked quite well there. Need to do much more work to recover from my cra crash. Here we have YOLO Swagons in for overflood racing. And we remember that pass I did on the main straight. And here we are again getting a good run out of the last chicane. But not quite enough to get past here. But maybe I can stick to this inside. I will have a little bit of a run here. Yes, I'm on the inside. And for this turn that means... I get the move done, so up into 13th position. Nice one. And here we are, still in lap 13. I'm now right behind Benimi, Bravado Racing. He misses a bit of the racing line for that turn, goes a bit too wide, um, allows me to get a good run on this turn here, and there's the pass for position number 10. By lap 16, I have made it into 9th position. Fab Eisman still in 2nd, but he's now going into 1st because the leader took a pit stop. I think it was Super Stepper. So Fab Eisman now in 1st position. Myself in ninth position following Odorn and Grim Reaper. And you see, I got a good run onto the Junk Energy Driver and into the Mirror's Edge section. Saw quite a lot of passes here and also here, splitting them like Jesus did on the Red Sea. Uh, Ovivo Jr. going into 5th position. <laughs> Just a lap later, lap 17, I'm following Fothom Racing Driver Stocking and she had a really nice recovery after we saw uh, what happened to her at the last she came with she had that crash and went to the back of the field She's now in fourth position actually and maybe I can pass her on the main straight here Do I get a run? Ah, No, we kind of have the same top speed here, so it's going to be a battle on this turn I'm trying to take a different line swing to the outside cut back to the inside um, And then little contact there touching stocking, but nothing much happens and then stocking just clips the inside there going over the wall very very unfortunate for stocking uh, losing the position like that but i'm still in fifth but now not following stocking but i'm now following odorn for junk energy which will be a tough call uh, passing the race leader or race winner of race one actually at zancudo but then we want to focus on the top corner where grim reaper is following the boshi car and it will be very, very influencing what happens now. There's a huge crash at that last section, but only involving three cars. So uh, that causing a safety car controversy. People were talking about the safety car. And myself and Odorn decide to go into the pits. And you might have catched up what darn happened. Um, he heard the safety car a bit too late. Still decided to go into the pits and hit the pit wall. So that's how I got past him. Didn't even lose a position due to this pit stop. Because a lot of cars behind me also went into the pits. So this safety car. Very very fortunate for me. Uh, because otherwise I would have finished in 4th position. Not have a chance to go for uh, a podium position I think. Maybe 3rd passing Radas who was... 14 seconds in front of me and still had to do a pit stop but it was definitely a double podium on for benefactor drivers but here we are with the restart in lap 23 Fab Eisman in front of me having a good run on Super Stepper but I'm also having a great run on Fab Eisman here going to his inside and I see my chance to go for the lead actually 
Ooh, what a move. Iceland definitely taking the racing line, not leaving me any space, but I have the inside. Inside is a shorter line. Shorter line allows me to get past Fab Iceland. He's trying to make a move still. Hits the outside a bit. Touch oh, with his sorry, teammate. Super Stepper. Ooh, unfortunate. So Super Stepper going into fourth position. And also Darn on his inside. Very nice move from the Junk Energy Driver. So we now have myself in first, Oh Darn in second, and Fab Iceman in third. Followed by Super Stepper. So the Benefactor Drivers definitely lost quite a few positions on this restart. Maybe Fab Iceman can get a move done on Oh Darn um, before too much time passes. Because I know he definitely wants to get that win. It was his before the second safety car period, so he has to fight his way back. Long. And Benefactor having a superior top speed over Junk Energy on this part. And ooh, little contact there, but uh, that was close. Almost spun out Fab Iceman, but he made it, hold the car, and is now in second position, following myself. But by the end of the race, I managed to hold that position, which was gifted to me in this race. And I'm very, very proud to achieve yes, this yes, win. Yes. Uh, first Woo! position Jet. for me uh, has been a long time winning a race in the Grotti F1 World Championship. Fab Iceman in second position for Benefactor Racing. Uh, he was very unlucky in this race. But um, I think in the end these 18 points um, will still be okay for him. And we have a newcomer on the podium with Grim Reaper. So very, very good job from the Ocelot driver. So this was our race at Mirror's Edge. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, turn in for our next race on May 15th. Yellow Jack. <laughs>